हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू पार्ट वन ऑफ चैप्टर नाइन मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स फर्स्ट आई लेट यू नो अबाउट द डिलीटेड पोर्शन फॉर योर फाइनल एग्जाम्स इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर 9.1 एंजियोस्पर्म इंट्रोडक्शन इज डिलीटेड 9.2 मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ रूट स्टेम लीफ फ्रूट सीड एंड फैमिली फेबिसी हैज बीन डिलीटेड दो दिस पोर्शन इज डिलीटेड आई विल बी टीचिंग यू द एंटायर चैप्टर बिकॉज इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर 10 questions that is 40 marks weightage for your neat exams and equal importance for your ct exams also few practicals are based on this chapter so we will be studying the entire chapter in detail let us see what are angiosperms the highly evolved and dominating members of kingdom plantae are the flowering plants flowering plants are also called as angiospermic plants the word angiosperm it is derived from a greek word angion means a receptacle or a ves vessel which is nothing but the ovary and inside this ovary what comes this forms the fruit later and the ovules after fertilization they form the seeds so seeds are present in a receptacle seeds are present the sperma is present in the food fruit inside the fruit thus angiospermic plants that is the ovules which are the potential seeds they will be enclosed in the ovary which will later form the fruit there are about 3 lakh species of flowering plants now let us see what is external morphology and internal morphology the study of external structures of plant organs is called as external morphology or idonomy whereas the study of internal structures of plant organs it is called as internal morphology or it is called as anatomy so idonomy is an opposite word of anatomy study of external morphology idonomy internal morphology anatomy let us see the parts of a typical flowering plant underground below the ground the part present is called as the root system whereas the aerial part is called as the shoot system the underground root part it is homogeneous homogeneous all the parts are similar it has a main root and this main root it will give out branches so the underground root system is present whereas the heterogeneous part aerial part it gives out branches it gives out leaves produces flowers fruits etc so heterogeneous in nature the root the stems and the leaves they are concerned with nutrition growth and even vegetative reproduction you might have known that bryophyllum carries out vegetative reproduction by leaves or muraiya kadi patta carries out vegetative reproduction by roots but flowers in angiospermic plants they are playing very important role they are concerned with sexual reproduction because they are having both gynoecium and androecium these are the parts of the typical flowering plant root system shoot system shoot system has it is heterogeneous having stems branches leaves flowers root system basically it is homogeneous its branches are similar the root the stem the leaves concerned with vegetative reproduction whereas the flowers are concerned with sexual reproduction so you can see the same in this picture this is the root system the aerial part is the shoot system which shows branches the leaves the flowers and the fruits morphology of the root root is usually non green in color as it is non green it cannot carry out photosynthesis it is cylindrical underground descending portion of the plant axis it is descending it is traveling towards the ground and therefore it is positively geotrophic it travels towards the water so it is positively hydrotrophic it travels the roots usually go away from the sunlight so they are called as negatively phototrophic roots true roots usually develops from radical of the embryo what is radical say suppose this is a dicot seed this is the embryonic axis above the embryonic axis the epicotyle develops below the embryonic axis the hypocotyle develops epi above epicotyle give rise to plumule plumule give rise to the shoot system whereas the hypocotyle give rise to radical and radical give rise to the root system so the roots are developing from radical of the embryo roots do not have nodes internodes leaves or buds all these are absent in roots whereas the lateral branches in the roots are endogenous in origin endogenous they are originating from uh, inner layer uh, of cells which is called as pericycle here you can see this brown color layer which is deep inside it is after epiblema cortex then endodermis and then the pericycle is there so the 
secondary roots or the tertiary roots they arise from the endoder pericycle thus they are endogenous in origin what are the parts of a typical root a typical root consists of a root cap this is the first part called as root cap which is made up of multicellular parenchymatous tissue the root cap it is also called as calyptra it secretes mucilage and this sticky mucilage will protect the root tip when it is penetrating into the soil in search of water food and mineral water and mineral basically second region is called as the region of meristematic tissue this is 1 mm in length and it brings about continuous mitotic divisions and cause it is the reason which will further bring about the longitudinal growth of the root the third region is region of elongation whatever cells are formed in the meristematic region they elongate they increase in their size shape therefore it is called as region of elongation so it increases the length of the root the next region is root hair region of root hair always remember they are produced from epiblema or piliferous layer what is epiblema the outermost epidermal layer it is called as epiblema from this unicellular fibrous hair like cylindrical structures come out and these are called as root hairs so always remember students root hairs are unicellular arising from epiblema or the piliferous layer and of course what is their function they increase the surface area for absorption of food the fifth and the last region is region of maturation here the cells are going to mature and form xylem phloem parenchyma colenchyma sclerenchyma so there is distribution of labor in the region of maturation whatever cells are now already ready they will be forming different types of permanent tissue so that they can perform different types of function one point about root hair root hairs are short lived they just live for 10 to 15 days and again new root hairs are produced so these are the parts of a typical root root cap region of meristematic activity region of elongation root hair and the region of maturation now let us see what is present a special character is present in aquatic plants like pistia and icornia the instead of root cap they are having root pockets and these root pockets they are filled with erenchyma air and therefore it helps in giving buoyancy for these floating hydrophytes to float in water it helps the balancing of the plant as well in pandanus screw pine we call it as kevada in marathi it is having aerial stilt roots and many aerial stilt roots are present so this is a pandanus and from nodes many nodes number of these stilt roots are coming and as there are many aerial stilt roots present giving support to the pandanus stem it has multiple root caps so all will have multiple root caps so let us proceed what are the functions of the root primary important main functions of the root are anchorage it fixes the plant in the soil and provides mechanical support second important function is absorption of water and minerals from the soil and providing it to the plant third is conduction whatever water and mineral is absorbed it is conducted towards the stem and fourth important function is translocation what is translocation whatever organic nutrient or sugar is produced by leaves it is transported to the tissues of the root so conduction of uh, sugar mineral food from the leaves to the parts of the root it is called as translocation so anchorage absorption conduction and translocation are important primary functions of root some extra function adaptations modification in roots are storage of food symbiotic nitrogen fixation because some of the roots leguminous plants they show presence of root nodules climbing roots are present in plants like money plant or pepper mechanical support is provided by stilt roots or prop roots hostorial roots are called as parasitic roots which is found in cascuta or which we called as uh, amarvel dendron assimilation sometimes the root becomes photosynthetic in nature as seen in some orchids sometimes there are nematophores present on roots the roots they are acting as breathing roots especially in avicennia or the plants which are growing in marshy regions sometimes they are hygroscopic again in epiphytes like orchids there are roots which are hygroscopic they absorbs water or water vapor from the atmosphere so hygroscopics sometimes roots also help in vegetative propagation already i had told you the example as in seen in kadipatta or muraiya 
some roots help in floating and balancing so these are the functions which we'll study in detail later so in next video we'll discuss about different types of roots and its modification i hope you have understood thank you